Hey folks, in this video, we are going to take a look at how to embed a Calendly calendar, try saying that three times fast, uh, into a page within Moodle. So we're not actually going to start in Moodle, we're actually going to start in Calendly. And when you're in Calendly, you're going to come up here to where it says account, select that, and then select share your link. Once you do that, you're given this little pop-up that gives you several different choices. You want to add it to your your website. So you click this blue button next to where it says add it to your website. And then you get this little pop-up that says how do you want to add Calendly to your site. You're going to go with embed, inline embed here on the left and then you're going to select continue. It's going to give you this all of this here and you can play around. You can you know adjust some of the settings. Maybe you wanted a different color etc. You can play around with that if you want. Um, but if you're like, nope, I don't want to think about any of that, I just want to get it on my page, then all you have to do is select copy code. When you copy code, you get that little check mark, and that tells you that it is on your clipboard. So let's go back into Moodle. Right, We're now back in Moodle, and of course the first thing we always want to do is turn edit mode on. We'll go to wherever we want to put that in the course, so I'm just going to drop down here. And this, maybe this is where I want it to be. I'm going to select add an activity or resource. And I am going to select page. Once I'm on page, you know, I want to give it a name. So I might say book a meeting with me. Always an exclamation point, right? Because meetings with me are always fun. At least that's what I tell myself. Okay. Now you want to scroll down to content. Ignore description and go right down to content. Once you're here, you click this little arrow, this little downward arrow, because you want to expand your toolbar. Once you have your toolbar expanded, then you're going to go to this very last uh, icon right here on the right. And if you recall back to like a minute ago, this is the very same icon that we click on to get the code. So let's click on that. And whatever's here, it doesn't really matter. I typically will highlight it and then I will paste it. So I can hit Control V on a PC or Command V on, or is it Command or Options. I always forget what it is on a Mac, but it's Control V on a PC. And now that has pasted what was on my clipboard that we saw uh, right over here. So once I do that, I can hit Save and Display. And look at the magic, look at that. I can now, or my students now can come in here, you know, they want to book an appointment, then they can click on that. They can find out, oh, you know, when is he available? And click on the day and, and schedule their appointment right from within Moodle. Uh, so this is a really nice tool, especially if you don't want to, you know, you want to keep it all contained within Moodle and you want it easy for students to uh, move about. So the only th other thing I might recommend is if we go back to settings, I still might recommend um, at the top of the page providing a little bit more information about what they should be doing or what the expectations are or any piece of advice or information that would be useful to them. But that's all for now. I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care.